So I got afraid to leave the house. I just laid in bed all the time and I wasn't taking care of myself. And um, yeah, I got really depressed. I thought, this is it. I'm just gonna be disabled like this for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna be able to go anywhere or do anything. Hey, I'm Jill from California. Nice to meet you guys. It is awesome that you want to join us. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking your time. Yeah, so you are an army, right? Right. Right. And I'm, an, I'm an older army. But older. Yes, Can I ask your age? I know it's not really polite to ask a, no, no, a lady. No, no, no. I'm proud. I'm proud of all these gray hairs. I'm 59. Oh, wow. Oh, you don't uh. look 59. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. So, Jill, yeah, let's just start at your story. How did you discover BTS? Well, I was... Rec um, I was recovering from a really bad back injury, so I was laying around a lot watching YouTube videos, and I love the figure skater Adam Rippon. I don't know if you know him. He's an Olympic medalist, and he is hysterical, and he has a YouTube channel where he teaches amateurs how to skate, and it's mm. really funny. And he did a routine to Boy With Love, and I'm like, oh, and it wasn't in English, obviously, and I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. And he act, and he's such an incredible performer, Adam Rippon. And he did this great routine where he acted out some of the dance moves that the boys did. Well, I had no idea who these boys were. Mm -hmm. So I'm like frantically searching <laughs> because I didn't know the, the title of the song because it's in Korean. And it took me a while and I found Boy With Love and that was it. That was the end. I just kept going, <laughs> I need to know more about these guys. Um, I saw the Boy With Love dance practice and I neatly picked up my bias right there. I went, I don't know who he is, but I like him. And that was it for me. And that was last April, I think. It was right oh. when Boy With Love came out. April, 2019. Oh. I, I went down with the, the BTS rabbit hole. I totally immersed myself. Um, and I I just I just love them. They're just fantastic. So and yeah, never who, look who, back. Who turned out to be your, uh, your bias? My bias is Tim's bias. Oh! <laughs> and if you've ever seen that Boy With Love dance practice. No, we haven't. Not yet. Oh. But it's well, still my favorite Jimin, song. <laughs> Jimin had red hair then. He had the orange hair then. I think the second video I saw was Mic Drop, which is completely different mm -hmm. from Boy With Love. And then I was fascinated. I'm like, okay, well, how do they just dance like this? Mm -hmm. And they have incredible voices. And then they do something like Mic Drop. I'm like, okay, all right. I need to figure out why. Yeah. And um, yeah, and um, that was it. And then I just kept going and going and going. I think I've seen almost everything they've done. How did BTS change your life or, or save your life? Or what did, B what did BTS do for you? Well, the last several years were pretty tough. So we got hit with the recession and I lost my job. And I decided at the age of 50, I was gonna go back to college. And so I went back to college. I only had two more courses and I had a major back injury. It really affected me, um, not just physically, but emotionally affected me. And they say there's something about a back injury that really can, it affects you differently, like a shoulder or a hip or a knee. And it's a very a sensitive spot of your body emotionally. So I kind of just went down to a really dark place. Uh -huh. So I got afraid to leave the house. I just laid in bed all the time and I wasn't taking care of myself. Um, yeah, I got really depressed. I thought, this is it. I'm just going to be disabled like this for the rest of my life. I'm not going to be able to go anywhere or do anything. I forgot how long I was like that, five or six years. You know, not going anywhere. I missed my kids' college graduation. Um, and then I saw that video. The Alan Rippon, I thought, oh, this is interesting. And I hadn't listened to music for a long time. And I just wanted silence when I came home. My husband and I both really love music, but we're kind of the 70s classic rock kind of people. Once you, you, you're you attracted to the dancing, and of course they're handsome guys, mm -hmm. so they're visually great to look at, they're entertaining, they sing great, they rap great, and then you start to peel off the layers of them. So, And I think that's what they appealed to me on an intellectual level, mm -hmm. is that First of all, I love the message that they were sending. I loved how they represent young people. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever seen Nam Joon do his UN speech, it will change you. I mean, it's yeah. so inspiring to see a young person do this. Mm. It's incredible. And I was just so, I was just so struck by how 
they just motivated all these people. I'm like, what is it about all these people that are attracted to these guys? Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'll be really honest, I think I love them more as people than I do their music. I mean, I love their music, but I'm so fascinated with these seven young men that have come together as one unit. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have really done so much amazing things for cross culture, mm -hmm. young people, uniting people from all over the world. I mean, here you, you know, here we are yeah. separated <laughs> and we have this connection. Yeah. And I just thought, why is it? And so I was more fascinated with the psychology of them. And that's my major is human development, which is psychology, sociology. So I'm just interested in humans. Mm -hmm. And I just said, these guys are just fascinating. And then I started watching them pers doing their personal stuff, like the Run BTS, and they have the docu-series. So you guys went to the movie where there's two other movies mm -hmm. and there's three other documentary series. And then you think, oh my God, he struggled. Oh my God, he got injured or, mm -hmm. oh, he's really insecure. And it was so relatable. Mm -hmm. They made me laugh, like belly laugh for the first time in about, since I hurt my back. So about seven mm -hmm. or eight years. Wow. That I laughed to the point of crying. I was laughing so hard. Wow. And then all of a sudden I started, because I was laughing, I was getting all this joy from something. I started feeling better. I started having more energy. I started smiling more. I was dancing around the house, which I had barely been able to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. They really, I think, got me out of that really deep depression mm -hmm. of having such a bad injury that I had basically just given up. I thought, okay, this is it. I'm just going to be in bed and, you know, my mm -hmm. life's over. I mean, I just think they're just really incredible people. And it gives, makes you hopeful. It oh always reminds God. me of what Nam June says so perfectly, like, use me. Yeah. Gives you like 1% of happiness. Yeah. Adds 1% to your happiness. Then my purpose is... And it's truthful yeah. because they are it's not there. really are those kind of people. Mm -hmm. You can take every guy, you can take Yungi, you can take R. you can take it, it, Jim and anybody. And individually, they are so gifted and so talented and such nice people. But then when you get the seven of them together, mm. I don't, I, you know, I'm 59. I've seen, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I haven't. It's just, there's, and you can tell once you guys start going into the docuseries and looking at, um, you can see they're not faking it. No. Yeah. And now I've given up the news. And my husband will start talking. I go, uh-uh, I'm going to the BTS world now. I yeah. have to go watch <laughs> Boy With Love. Yeah. Three or four months before mm -hmm. I really started to like, oh my God, I feel so much better. Why do I feel so much better? Mm -hmm. yeah, they literally changed me. Wow, exactly. And that is what is so interesting about them. Because at first, my whole uh, thought, because I'd heard about them. I'd seen a picture or I'd seen like 10 yeah, seconds. It was the only... K-pop, and I always yeah. thought this would be that new thing that teenagers crave. Right. And then we started watching it, and I was like, I'm not a teenager, but I like this. Yeah, the first one yeah. for us was Blood, Sweat and Tears. Blood, Sweat and, and Tears. So... It just, oh. The thing that you said about them being honest and pure and genuine, you see yeah. that in the first video by them that you watch. You just see it. They can't hide it. It is yeah. there. I've read uh, several books that have inspired their music. Mm -hmm. So Damien and mm -hmm. um, the Little Prince and Le Petit Prince, Prince. yes, yeah, my favorite. Yeah, oh, well, it. that's well. When you see Jimin do his serendipity, mm. he is the Little Prince in that. Oh, oh, so oh I love that. Ooh, yeah. um, and I studied a lot of psychology in college, and I recognized their messages and the ego and the self and your shadow. Mm. And so intellectually, it stimulated me as well. Exactly. They're giving me they're giving me something to think about. It's not just oh I'm cute and I'm dancing around and mm. right and look at me and you know she broke up with me or whatever. Huh. And then maybe that's part of why I started feeling better because I thought okay well I have this injury, I can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. But laying in bed all day feeling sorry for herself isn't going to do it. No. So I have to just accept this injury. Yeah. And just it's part of me now. It's never going to go away. And then I have to keep going. Yeah. There could be young girls out there going, no, he's so cute. And that's all they do. Oh, well, also that's perfect. All they that's fine. Perfect. Oh, well, I could be really cheeky and just say, hey, you're nice. Keep going. Because that's what they would do. But, you know, I would probably just say, you know, thank you um, for just inspiring so many people and for being so thoughtful and so intelligent with what you do and what you say. Mm -hmm.
because we need more of that. So, yeah. but I would just quote Jim and you nice, keep going. Yeah. They always say that BTS finds, finds you when you need them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I truly believe that. I thought, oh, really? And I thought, I just heard so many stories from so many different people that, yeah. hey, I was really in a dark place and the song came on the radio or mm -hmm. my friend mm -hmm. said, hey, listen to this <clears throat> and they changed my life. Yeah. yeah. Bye, everybody! <laughs> 네, 오늘도 영상 봐주셔서 정말 감사하고 다음 영상에서 또 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 구독, 좋아요, 알람 설정 정말 큰 힘이 됩니다. 꼭꼭 많이 눌러주시고 건강 항상 유의하시고 아리오스.